Hello and welcome. You're listening to a very special hypnosis recording. This audio session will enable you to achieve your goals successfully and with confidence. It will also help you remove any barriers preventing you from meeting your personal targets, whether these are conscious or unconscious. After using the session, you will feel able to achieve whatever you set your mind to, with confidence, relaxed in your newfound ability. Just imagine being able to achieve your goals whenever, wherever, with whoever you choose. This programme was made with you in mind. It was carefully crafted to help you move deeper into your own self and to begin to shed light on the issues you are facing. This is not meant to be a substitute for counselling or professional help, but rather a companion that is ready to support you whenever you feel you need it. I would like to commend you for taking a step today toward change. You have made a brave choice and you will be rewarded with greater insight as a result. Please make time in your daily life for reflection and contemplation. If you don't give yourself time and space to grow and mature as an introspective human being, then you are sure to remain in the habits and patterns that have led you toward finding assistance in this hypnosis and NLP session. Let this audio programme be a tool in your toolbox and also collect other tools that will assist you, such as affirmations, positive people around you, healthy eating and living, and stress-reducing exercises like massage, meditation, nature walks, tai chi or yoga. You have now decided to take your life and your goals back into your own hands. Congratulations! Make sure to listen to this recording in the most comfortable location and position that you can. You may choose to use headphones or just listen in a quiet place. Allow your body to relax and your mind will follow along. You will be entering into a hypnotic or trance-like state. You will remain aware in the deep background of your mind so there is no need to fear any loss of control being manipulated or doing anything that you do not want to do. Be okay with the images and scenery that appear. You already experience trance states regularly throughout your day, like when you daydream or drift in thought. They are a natural way for the mind to rest. Meanwhile, your subconscious mind will attempt to organise itself, clearing out the ideas and thoughts that are no longer beneficial for you and holding on to the images and impressions that you need to keep yourself moving forward in your natural path of evolution. Listen to this recording daily for optimum success. If you have limited time, then listen every second day. Doing this for 21 days in a row will help to bring you profound results, and will probably change your life forever. Please, Never listen to this while you are handling machinery or driving a vehicle. Refrain from listening while under the influence of drugs, medications or alcohol. And if you happen to suffer from epilepsy or a psychiatric condition, please consult your physician before proceeding. I wish you a pleasant journey into your inner space and I know that you will have a far greater calm and understanding once you have finished this session. If you have goals that you haven't achieved, then there is a very important question you need to consider before we go a single step further. And it's a bit of a challenging one, so brace yourself. The question is, what has stopped you from achieving your goals until now? While you set part of your mind to work coming up with an answer to that, and don't worry, we'll help you answer it in just a few minutes, There's another fundamental issue we should address about your goals, and that is the question of whether you actually have any goals. I know that sounds silly, but many people will say they have goals, when in fact what they really have are some vague wishy-washy hopes. I want to be successful isn't a goal. To me, to be successful might mean languishing on a beach on a tropical island with a few million in the bank. Whereas to you, 
it might mean reducing your golf handicap. Even I want to be rich isn't a goal. There are many people who have become rich who were extremely miserable. Would that be okay? Of course, money doesn't make you miserable, but neither does it make you happy. It's just money. And it really doesn't carry an emotional charge. The great personal development teacher, Anthony Robbins, once said, Money won't solve all your problems, but it will allow you to arrive at them in style. And that's about all you can really say about money. A goal has to be measurable. In soccer, either the ball goes over the line into the net, or it doesn't. You don't score by arguing with the referee that the ball was somewhere roughly near the goal, do you? OK, let's add a little sauce. A goal needs to give you a sense of achievement and fulfilment, or it's not worth very much. I might want a cup of tea, really badly, but I'm hardly going to put the flags out when I've achieved getting it. On the other hand, a goal that is so enormous as to be nearly impossible requires more thought and planning than lesser goals, not because they're large, but because you have to bring them into the realm of possibility. When JFK said that men would reach the moon by the end of that decade, he knew that the science and technology existed to make that feasible. Irrespective of how much money he poured into the space programme, it would have made no difference had that not been the case. If you're going to shoot for the moon, make sure you've got access to a big team and a lot of resources, including time. So the first thing you need to do is to define your goals. How will you know when you've achieved them? And what is the reason for them in the first place? Don't make it a goal to qualify as a doctor because your father told you to, if what you really want more than anything in the world is to train to be an opera singer. Your goals are for you and they will shape your life. And your life is not about doing what other people say you should in the hope that that will keep you in their favour. Far too many people have fallen into that trap. But this is the 21st century, not Edwardian England. If life is not fulfilling you, then you might make a living, but you couldn't be said to be having a life. So let's return to that question, that very challenging question, which was, what has stopped you from achieving your goals until now? What answers does your mind come up with? Lack of resources of some kind. Not educated enough. You're the wrong gender, age or colour, perhaps. Those would be fairly typical answers, but they're all based on a false premise, a false belief of some kind. So let's unveil that false belief once and for all, because once it's exposed and you see it for what it is, you are more than halfway to freedom. The rest of the journey is a simple matter of replacing it with a new, empowering set of beliefs, and you are soon going to experience a simple yet very powerful process that will achieve just that. And that is the goal for this programme. To understand the false premise you've blamed your frustration on so far, understand something very basic. Everybody, yes everybody, is driven by the same two forces. We all move towards pleasure, real or imagined, and away from pain, including emotional pain, also real or imagined. Now it doesn't matter what answers you gave to the challenging question, because somebody, somewhere, has overcome obstacles many times greater than those to achieve incredible feats. The truth is, you've rationalised why you don't have your goals to avoid pain. It may be the pain of disappointment, or that you didn't want to risk ridicule or rejection of some kind. But down there somewhere, there is what has held you back, the fear of pain. On the other side of that equation is the prospect of the pleasure of success, right? It's just that so far, the balance has been tipped 
towards the pain end. Now if we can tip it the other way, You'll be going after your goals and knocking them down like a row of ducks at a fairground rifle range. How do you do that? Well, you shift your focus and you change your state. You can focus on anything, like how many ways things might go wrong if you take a certain path, or how often things have worked out for you and others in your life and throughout history. Which of those do you think is going to make you feel better? What do you think would be more likely to keep you motivated to achieve your goals? And your state is just your state of mind. A good state to be in for goal achievement would be a determined state, wouldn't you agree? So here's how you can lock that, or any state you like, in. The process that follows will teach you how to shift your focus and manage your state at will. Finally, your sense of self-belief and determination will be under your conscious control instead of in reaction to what you previously thought were random events. The truth is, what you focus on consistently is most likely to show up. So do you think it might be worthwhile learning exactly how you can focus on your own success or your own goals? I'm glad we agree. Here we go. You must now find a comfortable position. You can choose to sit back comfortably in a chair or on a sofa, in a recliner or on a bed. Once you have adjusted any restrictions in your clothing and settled into your spot, you can begin to accept the idea of letting go. You are ready now to understand just how easy it can be to achieve your goals. Relaxed, both on the inside and where it counts most, on the outside. You can begin to allow yourself the permission to enter into a hypnotic state. In fact, go ahead. Tell yourself you are giving yourself full permission to let go knowing how great you will feel when you achieve your goals. In your mind, or even out loud, tell yourself, you are safe. You are eager to travel to the depths of your unconscious mind, to discover the relaxed, confident, high-achieving you that's inside. It is important that you believe yourself, that you trust yourself. This moment calls for self-love and trust. And your belief in your ability to achieve is beginning to increase already as your eyes begin to softly close. I want you to take a deep, slow breath in. And now release the breath. That's good. Notice the quality of your breath. Does the breath flow into your chest or deeper into your belly? Pay attention to the next few breaths and make sure to follow them right down to your belly. Feel your belly rise on the inhale and fall on the exhale. Be open to the idea that you can achieve your goals by changing how you feel just as easily as you can allow your breath to go in and out. And as you begin to deepen into this trance, it is necessary that you release any tensions in your body Starting at your right foot, begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the right leg to the knee, just relaxing. 
and carry on to the right hip. Now do the same for the left leg. Begin to release any muscles that you are still holding on to. Move up the left leg until you're at the hip. Just relaxing. Clear any tension in your hips. Let go of your deepest pelvic muscles. You may be clenching tightly and you don't even know it. So just let go. Continue to feel the rise and fall of your belly and let the heaviness of your arms and shoulders sink down and melt away. Feel the openness in the palms of your hands. Feel the expansive breath in your chest and abdomen. Open your jaw to stretch it and then release it. Let your eyes sink into your head until they are floating peacefully. Feel the tingling of the hair on your head and the lightness of the air around your face. You are ready now to move deeper inside, to release your inner you, who knows exactly how to achieve your goals, exactly how to do anything you put your mind to. I will ask you to open your eyes one more time in a moment. When you close them again, you will sink into a wonderful floating softness and you will be ready to take a journey. OK. Open your eyes slightly on your next inhale. Now close them on the exhale and step securely into the most relaxed state of awareness you can imagine. To help you relax deeper, I will lead you on a journey. Listen to the sound of my voice. Listen deep down inside. Of course you are. If you feel yourself drifting away at any time, just focus on the sound and vibration of my voice as they enter into your ears. You are doing so well already. You are beginning to relax and feel how much more you can achieve with every breath you take. Picture a ladder in front of you. This is the ladder that will carry you into your trance. Every time you climb up and down the ladder, you will go deeper and deeper into your trance. So begin to climb carefully up the ladder. You can see it clearly, stood tall and straight. When you reach the top, take a deep breath. And begin to climb down the ladder. As you reach the bottom, you feel very tired. Take a deep breath in and let it out. You can climb up the ladder again. Notice it, standing tall and erect. Feel your body working as you climb. And as you reach the top of the ladder again, take another deep breath in. Feel the tiredness in your body as you're climbing down the ladder. You reach the bottom of the ladder and you feel yourself wanting to rest. But you will climb the ladder two more times. 
and each time that you reach the bottom you will be deeper and deeper into trance. Go ahead, climb the ladder once more. It's harder to climb this time, isn't it? But sometimes it's good to achieve something. Your legs and arms are struggling to move you up the ladder. You reach the top of the ladder and you take a deep breath in. Your legs feel shaky as you climb back down the ladder. Your hands are tired of gripping onto the rungs of the ladder. When you reach the bottom, you take a deep breath. You're already in your trance and you want to stay here at the bottom of the ladder, but there's one more thing you have to do and you know that you can achieve it. You know that one more time up and down the ladder will send you deeper into trance and you wish to go deeper, don't you? Good, then climb the ladder one last time. And when you reach the top, you take a deep breath in. You know that a deeper still trance is waiting for you at the bottom of the ladder. So you begin to climb down carefully. You're aware of every muscle in your body. When you set foot on the ground, all of your tension is gone and you are now completely absorbed in your trance. Choose a goal you'd love to achieve, but so far have thought you couldn't. Don't worry about the reasons you think stand in your way. People overcome obstacles and achieve incredible things all the time. The only difference between them and you is their state of mind, their approach. The fastest way to change your state is to use your physiology. If you get up and start to dance, you'll very quickly feel good compared to, say, sitting slumped in a chair. Emotions are energy in motion and they are created or increased by movement. Now, spend a moment or two considering the emotional state you're in when you think about that deeply desired goal. What do you tell yourself that stops you taking further action? What do you believe that keeps you from going further? And above all, don't adjust or change anything. Notice how you are holding your body as you bring those thoughts and beliefs to mind. Notice how all these elements combine together to give you a feeling, or maybe a mixture of feelings. Without making any adjustments, Notice what pictures you make in your mind. Pictures about how things may turn out as you consider pursuing your goal. Notice how bright the colours are. Become aware of how close up or far away the image or images seem to be. Are they still images or moving like clips from a movie? Do you hear sound or silence as you look at these images? How loud or quiet does it seem? Spend some time and discover what else is important to know about how you create this state. This is the state that keeps you from achieving your goals. Notice if there are any other sensations associated with it. Smells, textures. Explore it in every detail.
good. Now for a moment, open your eyes, take a deep breath and let that go. Stretch, relax your shoulders. Take another deep breath and release any tension and as you relax again, gently close your eyes. This time, you have a blank screen in your mind. Now, think of a time when you felt absolutely certain about something, when you knew you could not fail. It doesn't matter what it was about. It could have been cooking a meal for someone special. It could have been getting a job or passing an exam. Or it could be some skill you have, riding a bicycle, swimming, running, knitting. Something you know without question that you can do really well. You cannot fail. Got something? Good. Now, without making any adjustments, notice what you tell yourself that keeps you free to keep going. What do you believe about your ability to achieve that task? Without making any changes, above all, notice how you are holding your body. Notice the differences compared to last time. Check the images you make in your mind as you think about beginning a task you are absolutely certain of achieving. Notice how bright they are. Notice how close or far away they seem compared to last time. Notice if they move or if you make still pictures. And notice how they differ from the pictures you made before. Do you include sound when you're certain you can achieve something? And if there is sound, how loud or quiet do you make it? Do you include music of some kind? How is this different from the other experience? Spend some time. Notice everything there is to know about how you process something in your mind when you are absolutely certain you can achieve something. Very good. Now imagine you can split the screen in your mind from top to bottom and move those images and the sound and the entire experience of your certainty movie over to the right hand side of the screen. And on the left side of the screen Bring to mind the previous movie or images with all its qualities. On the right side, you have everything about feeling you can achieve. On the left side, you have the negative feelings about failing to achieve. Now, you're going to slide the movie from left to right and as you move it across and move it over the centre line, allow it to change its qualities so they match, they exactly match the qualities of the certainty, the success movie. If the pictures on the right are brighter, then allow the images you slide over from left to right to reach the same brightness. If the pictures on the right are closer up, then allow the images you slide over to come to the same brightness. If there's a difference in the soundtrack, make the qualities match. As you do the process, the movie will want to rearrange itself. The events themselves want to change. Because your mind will start seeing the possibilities of you achieving your dream. So let that happen. And as that happens, let it happen. 
automatically for a while. Make sure your physiology stays in the state of absolute certainty. If at any point you find yourself in difficulty moving the images from left to right, just adjust your physiology. You may discover that you've slipped a little towards the physiology of doubt and uncertainty once more. That's all. Isn't it comforting to know that your achievements, your entire destiny, can be reshaped by making some slight adjustments to your body and your mind? And your actions will follow, making your achievements possible, your life so much more fulfilling than you have ever thought before now. When the movie has fully moved over and all the qualities are in place, the qualities of absolute certainty, think of a time in the future when, if something had happened like that in the past, you wouldn't have believed you could achieve it. And this time, discover what happens instead. Let this play out. Step inside the movie as it rewrites your future from the past. And notice as you do that, that the only thing you find difficult to achieve is remembering how you used to feel about it. To come back into the present moment, you must leave your trance. You can begin to climb your ladder again at this point. It's the same ladder that brought you into the trance. But now... It will bring you out of your trance. Begin to climb up the ladder to the top. When you reach the top of the ladder, you take a deep breath in. You can already feel yourself leaving your trance, can't you? Come down the ladder slowly until you reach the ground. Feel the blood pumping in your body. Take another breath in and climb that ladder one more time. Feel the strength growing within you as you will wake up and climb the ladder. When you reach the top, take another deep breath in. You're feeling good about coming out of your trance, aren't you? You are excited for what your future holds. So climb down the ladder and take a deep breath as you reach the ground. Your eyes want to open, but you know you have one more trip up and down the ladder. Will you open your eyes now or at the top? Start to climb the ladder for the last time. When you reach the top, you take a deep breath in and you let it out. When you reach the bottom of the ladder again, your eyes are open. Take a deep breath in and look around the room. You may choose to rest in the position that you are in. You may even choose to sleep if you wish. Or you may choose to rise and move about but know that you have created positive energy. You are most definitely headed in the right direction. Be strong and confident and know that you have the power to succeed and you have the power to change. You're bound to have great success. Thank you for listening. Please return to this recording daily or as often as you feel necessary. It will continue to support you on an ongoing basis and repetition will reap rewards.